Hello, I wanted to do a video addressing some of the exercises that I did while on the 21 day fix and how they kind of jived with my own physical issues that I have going on. Now, if you haven't seen my original 21 day fix videos, I would encourage you to go back and watch those. I have them all in a playlist, in this playlist actually, and so you can kind of refresh but just a little bit of a background like I mentioned in my earlier videos there are two issues that I have physically that posed a bit of a challenge with the 21 day fix but by all means did not make it impossible the first of which is kind of a big one and it is the fact that I have a spinal fusion with rods uh, in my spine basically. My spine is fused from T4 to L4 so most of my spine doesn't move, okay? I have a little bit of movement in my upper back and a little bit of movement in my lumbar region, um, but that's not a lot. I have become more flexible since I started seeing a chiropractor last spring for sciatica left over from pregnancy. That's a whole nother topic, <laughs> but I've, I've seen a little bit more flexibility come with a 21 day fix, but nothing huge. And to be honest, I'm not expecting anything huge when it comes to improving my flexibility, especially within my spine and really my, my core. But there were a couple of things that, that did get in the way of my exercising. And I'll just give you a couple of examples. In the Dirty 30, I believe, there is a move where you do this. You stand with your feet hip width apart and your hands at your sides and you take a dumbbell on one side and you're basically supposed to take that dumbbell all the way down to your knee and then come up. And basically what you're doing is you're working your obliques on this side. And the problem was that I don't have flexibility to get much further past this. And so in order for me to do that, I had to bend over, <laughs> which is not working my obliques. So with that exercise, basically what I did, because I can't do anything close to that exercise that would benefit my obliques, so I would do lots of different things during that minute, or actually two minutes for the whole video, uh, that she would do that move. And I would sometimes do like bicep curls, I would do extra crunches, um, Sometimes I would repeat another exercise that we did earlier in the video for that entire minute. I wanted to make sure that I kept myself challenged, but also not get down on myself on the fact that I couldn't do that. That's one thing that I couldn't do. Um, another thing that I was unable to do uh, were Superman, Superbands, Supermen, whatever, in the Pilates Fix workout. And this was actually pretty humorous. I can't remember which 21 Day Fix video this was in. I think it was the first time I ever did Pilates fix, but you get down on flat on your belly and the goal is to lift up, lift your shoulders and chest and all that and arms off of the ground and do the same thing with your feet. Um, it was a similar one where you would go out and across to the side like this and there was one where you would swim and they're awesome exercises. But the problem is I have such little flexibility in my upper back that I couldn't bring anything off of the ground. Um, I, could, I could maybe bring it off the ground about that far. <laughs> and it was actually really humorous when I tried to do it. I was laughing a lot. So in that case, I remember that specific thing. I would just do extra crunches <laughs> in place of that. And of course, I would always try to do any of these exercises. I would always give them a try because you don't know if you can do it or can't until you try. Now this is not a matter of things that I shouldn't be doing with this issue with my back. Um, they were things that I physically could not do. <laughs> and so that's so that's one thing. The other condition I have, and it's, it's a lot different actually, is the diastasis recti, which means that there is a separation of abdominal, of my abdominal muscles. So much that I can actually, and I'm not going to show you because it's really gross, but I can actually stick my hand in between where my abdominal muscles are supposed to come together. And the problem with that is that if that gap gets too wide, then you can get a hernia, which is 
really bad. That's like surgery. <laughs> and mama don't have time for that. So I've been trying to do exercises that close that gap. And there are whole exercise programs that are dedicated to that. Um, my gap is not so large that I'm willing to invest in that right now. Um, obviously, before I want to go into something like that, I want to really clean up my diet, which I did in the 21 day fix and continue to do. I wanted to get into a consistent exercise program, which I have done and continue to do. Now with the diastasis recti, that is, that is caused when, you know, a lot of people who have gotten very large when they're pregnant or people who have lost a great deal of weight, they've gone from, you know, several hundred pounds down to a healthy weight, uh, they have that, that permanent or semi-permanent uh, separation of abdominal muscles. And there are certain exercises that you are not supposed to do when you have that issue. And um, for me, it's mostly ab exercises that I have problems with. But with the diastasis recti, it's a huge, huge, huge no-no to do anything that revolves a great deal of rotation. So the crunches where you touch your elbow to your knee, like twisting like that, um, that's kind of a no-no. Apparently that can increase the separation, make the separation larger. Um, another thing that I found out about halfway through the 21 day fix is that planks are a no-no. Oh, now I don't like planks, but I do like the way I can feel every single muscle in my body working. So in, in those instances, I would, or really any instance when I couldn't or shouldn't do the exercise that, um, that was being instructed in the video, I would just substitute it with something else. A lot of times I would do extra crunches, I would do uh, some transverse ab work. Uh, sometimes I was able to modify it like cat in the videos and that was, that was okay. But um, yeah, I have to say that overall the program did not interfere too much with my ab issues and with my back issues. I just had to modify it like probably everyone has to do in one way, shape, or form when going through really any program. There were times, to be honest, that I got really bummed out <laughs> and I, I would get a little discouraged that I couldn't do the exercise that I was uh, that I was being instructed to do in the video because I wanted awesome results from this program and I I felt like I adhered to it the best that I could. Uh, there were some things that I didn't do with the diet just because I knew that was not something I could stick with. Um, but still, I got awesome results and I've been able to keep the weight off and I've even lost another pound. <laughs> so. You know, if you have any sort of uh, structural whatever issues when it comes to your your body and your physique, um, you got to use your head and decide where your limits are and know to not pass those limits. But at the same time, you do want to push yourself past where you're comfortable. This is coming not from just someone who's done the 21 day fix, but from someone who uh, is, I am a health coach, that is what I do for my living. You've gotta get out of your comfort zone a little bit in order to succeed, but you also gotta know the difference between just pain from being sore, because you're maybe out of shape, and pain from, whoa, I just hurt something, and kind of adjust your workouts accordingly. Anyway, I hope this gave you a little bit of insight as to how the program worked for me, someone who has a few issues. I'm thankful that I don't have anything worse than what I do. I know there's a lot of people who can't get up and walk every day and I just thank God for the ability to do that. <laughs> but um, that's, that's what would come to my mind whenever I would start to feel discouraged about what I can or can't do. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you would like to see more. I'm trying to get on a more regular uploading schedule. But I will see you next time. Bye.